Hi everybody, I am a gamer mom, and today we're back with Amnesia. I have no clue what I'm doing. I still, like legit, have really no clue what I'm doing. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason for the darkness, that is? Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Uh, okay. Need a little more light. Some light right there. Okay, get it. Grab it. Okay. Flip. Second of June, eighteen thirty-nine. <coughs> it's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. Well, okay. An excessive decision, in retrospect, but I'm glad it turned out that way. I found okay. my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. Hmm. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Uh... Lock from the other side. Okay, okay. Um, all right.
Okay. Frick, okay. My gosh. Aw. I found a little tiny box. Here. Come hang out with your friends. Um... Uh, so first off, one of these. Ha ha. Hold the barrel. Okay. Oh, it's stuck. Stuck. It's ah stuck. Hmm. Can't move a. Oh. Can't move a big box. What about a, this box? Now can I get it? Ugh. Uh, that was my face. Okay. Now will this work? Uh, uh, do I... Must I? Is there anything else in here that I can do first? I do need to collect more tinder boxes. Are there some tinder boxes in here that I haven't found, maybe? Good lord. 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. Okay. Just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. What? They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass. How it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Yeah, centuries. Smith eased my mind Not a, day. a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Hmm. If you say so, do you stop? Oh my gosh. Just stop. All right, that's probably it. Let's let's sneak over here and slip down. Uh, excuse me. I'm in the cellar. I don't know if I want to be in the cellar. I remember this part. Oh no. Uh... Here, go over there. You're crying out loud.
Yeah, I'm really not good at this kind of stuff. Yeah. That was the only part of that I remembered. Leave me alone? Go over there. That way. How do I get through this? Get. Well, dang it, I don't have any more lot in them. Do I have to wait? Go over there, jerk wad. Okay. Ouch. I was for crying out loud. Ugh, rude. Rude. Go that way. That way. Jerk. Leave me alone. Yeah. Hey, go that way. Uh. Dang it. Just trying not to get hit. Go back over there. Go back. Ouch!
I'm guessing I need this. Yep. Archive tunnels? Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Uh, still in water? Why am I still in water? I don't want to be in water. Get me out of water. May I open the door the way every other door opens, please? And thank you. Oh, thank God. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The liquored hull of the SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing, warm, yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean, reaching towards the coast of Portugal, and thought, Is this another dream? Ah! Oh my gosh. Where? Oh. Oh my goodness, a door opened. Oh no. I played fast too long for that to scare me. Come on, you guys. Try harder. Oh, this this is beautiful. It's right here. A door that leads down. Where does this go? Storage. Okay. He turned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple and pondered on the strange happenings. Down here? Oh, very dark down here. Even candles lit. Why is it that dark if there there's candles? The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Yeah, I just got done saying that, didn't I? Excuse me?
Uh, I have another memory. Okay. Please, let me go. I won't tell anyone. I swear. I just want to go home. No! Get away from me! Leave me alone! Won't budge. Um. Uh, yes? The rubble from a cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Do I really want to? Nope. Okay. Instrumental? Can I find... There's a candle. Anything more I can... I have to use a lot of my tinder boxes in here, because they're right. This frickin' darkness is really weird. Okay. Try this door first. Alright. I don't know why I'm collecting drill parts. But okay. Oh, I'll save. A note. Alexander, I prepared the explosives you need for clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please tell your featherbrained servants that before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separate to avoid further mishaps. I've arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Valve has rusted shut. That valve is rusted shut as well. Okay, so I know where explosive stuff is. I'm really sorry, I need to know that. So I did one, two, three, all of them. Okay, getting out now. That was uncomfy. The thin cold mist brushed his face as he stepped outside. London weather could be cruel. This was the kind of cruelty he could handle. Okay, alright, so there's that door. I think I've got plenty of light in here, really. It's this door. Guest room. Sure, why not? Can't be worse than the storage room, right? Tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shifted when you weren't looking. Memory! My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal?
door is stuck due to a broken lock. Can I use this on it? Drill part? A sm small carpenter's drill. No, I can't use it there. Okay. Why... Why exactly do I have a drill? That would be nice to know. Okay, you. Out of the way. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. Doesn't sound Back good. After my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. Uh-oh. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched oh. a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Aww. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't <laughs> know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Well, poor guy. Excuse me. Up oh, another note. July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log. Detailing the expedition. Okay. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. Uh huh. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, We covered Daniel after one hour of <laughs> entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? Time. I reading the peculiar text. Time is weird when Herbert you are panicking. Without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his oh. men. Madness spread through the ranks, no. and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. But wait. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Okay, yeah, that's odd. That's very odd. Okay. Good, a hidey hole. I like hidey holes. Hidey holes are nice. Okay. Uh, a crowbar? Memory! The key. Please, let it be here. Uh, oh. Oh. There we go. Okay, I got a key. I didn't even know there was a machine room. Okay. Oh! It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The 
relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. Okay. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Hmm. The ancient stone relic <laughs> now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it, uh, move. You. Move. Okay. <clears throat> I'm hiding. No, thank you. Shoot, That was rude. I was still searching stuff, jerkwad. Guess I'm done. Yeesh. Okay. Hmm. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. I think I'm going to leave this video here. This is spooktacular. I love it. If you loved it, leave a like down below. If you have anything to say, go ahead and leave me a comment. And like always, don't forget to subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys all later. Bye.